if the determinant of this matrix is equal to 0, find x. So these parallel brackets implies a determinant. So it means these are singular matrix. That's why it is equal to 0. Its determinant is equal to 0. So let us get the determinant of this matrix and then equate that to 0. So the first thing you're going to do is take the first entry there, which is x minus 2. Then you come up with a small matrix that is obtained when you cover the row and the column for this particular entry. So if you cover that row and that column, you're left with this small matrix. That is x minus 2, 0, 4. Then minus the second entry, which is 2. You again cover its row and its column. So you're left with negative 1, negative 2, 2, 4. Plus, the next one is 2. So when you cover its row and its column, you're left with this small matrix, which is minus 1, x, and 2, 0. So like I said, the parallel brackets means the determinant of that matrix. So we're just going to take x minus 2. Then we're going to multiply that by the determinant of this small matrix, which is given by x times 4 minus negative 2 times 0. Negative 2 times 0 minus 2 into negative 1 times 4 minus negative 2 times 2. Negative 2 times 2. Then for the other part, we have plus 2. Then the, uh, the determinant of that small matrix is negative 1 times 0. Minus x times 2. Let us simplify that. So here we have x minus 2 times, here we have 4x minus negative 2 times 0 is 0 minus 2 into, here we have negative 4 minus negative 4. So that is plus 4. Then here we have plus 2 into that is 0 minus 2x. So if we simplify this, we're going to have x minus 2. That is 4x minus 2 into that is 0 plus 2 into negative 2x. Okay, so if we open up this bracket, we're going to have... 4x squared minus 8x, then negative, then 2 times 0, that is 0. So the value in between will be 0. So we are left with this one, which is negative 4x. So our determinant is 4x squared minus 12x. And remember, it was a singular matrix, so this determinant is equal to 0. So we need to solve for x here. So we can just use factorization where the common factor is 4x. So we have x minus 3 is equal to 0. So this is a product between 4x and the value in the bracket. So for the product to be 0, it means either 4x or x minus 3 is equal to 0. So if 4x is equal to 0, then it means that x is equal to 0. And if x minus 3 is equal to 0, it means that x is equal to 3. So we have that x is 0 or x is 3.